Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Call Me Chris and you can call me Chris and I feel like you need all some positive affirmations right now, okay? So I'm just gonna like scoop up your chin right here and just say that you're beautiful or handsome and that you're kind and that you mean a lot to me and you're you're gonna smile because your Auntie Chris here is gonna probably fail this test that I'm about to take. All right, so just, just hold on to that. <laughs> okay, all right, so today we, I I wanted to see if I'm smarter than a fifth grader. The only test I could really find that was like good, I haven't looked at it fully yet, but that had like enough questions was like an elementary school test. So I feel like this is gonna range from like five years old to like 12 years old. So I should do better, but I don't have a lot of hope. I haven't been in school for like, how old am I? I'm 25, when did I go to school? I don't, four years, five years, five years? I don't know, I didn't finish. I didn't finish at university. I dropped out, became a hairdresser, disappointed my parents, and then became a YouTuber slash TikToker, disappointed my parents again. So here we are, we're about to see how disappointing my IQ is. Let's do it. Okay, first question we got here. What two colors make purple? You know, I am a hairdresser, so this is gonna help because we had to do color theory. So I know that purple is blue and red. That's right, I'm smart. Who was the first president of the United States? Is it Abraham Lincoln? Benjamin Franklin isn't a pre Was Benjamin Franklin a president? Is that a, why is that an option? Is that an option? Was he a president? I'm gonna say George Washington, right? That's right, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I knew that. What is the antonym of down? Antonym, what the f is that? <laughs> I'm just gonna guess it's opposite, so up? Yes, I knew that. What is a chemical formula for water? H2O, bitch. I'm so smart. <laughs> Who was the inventor of the telephone? Steve Jobs. <laughs> Bill Gates, now Alexander Graham Bell, Thomas Edison. Was it Thomas Edison? It wasn't. Ooh, was Bell, like Bell, named after, you know, like the phone company? Was that named after Bell? Probably not. We got one wrong. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling confident. We're gonna be fine. Can you name the fourth planet from the sun? Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Venus. A Venus? You? what is it, Mars? How many planets, how many far? I don't even know how far we are. Is it three? Wow, okay, well, we're going downhill now. We're gonna keep going though. Okay, how many cups are in a gallon? 12, 16. Did you know that? Did you know that that was 16? Also, I hope you guys are playing down below and tell me how you do because I'm not hopeful now. Shit. All right, well, there's 16, now I know. How many bones in the human body? I only know this because of Grey's Anatomy, 206. F yeah, bitch. You gotta watch TV, kids, watch TV, all right? That's all you need. If the Earth makes one orbit around the sun, what is it called? One orbit around the sun. Is that a year? Oh my God. I'm so small. <laughs> that was a total guess. What is a numer- num num I just have a brain aneurysm. What is the Roman numerals XXV stand for? V60? 25, all right, we got it wrong. We're not doing that good. Okay, how long yeah, will it take you to get 60 miles if you are driving, yeah, 20 miles per hour? Why well, I hate these questions so much. This is like the watermelon questions at the store. They got 50 of them and Timmy's driving 50 Mach 5 down the highway to run into the store to the I don't know 60 miles if you're driving 20 miles an hour an hour three hours, okay <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh, it was so stupid. What is the smallest prime number? Prime. Prime is, I thought it was, is it two then? Is it two? Oh yeah. I thought prime was like three and five and stuff. That's not, what is that? I can't remember what that's called. How many sides does a decacon have? A decacon, is this a decacon? Can I count these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12, 10. <laughs> I can't even count. Oh my God. Okay, this is getting a little embarrassing now. Okay, although the guinea pig was fluffy, I chose a cat. Which of the following words is an adjective? Fluffy, yes. To what chemical element? Potassium is the K. I knew that. Abraham Lincoln was the, I feel like he was like pretty like early on, wasn't he? Like fifth? 16, 16. I'm from Canada also, by the way, so don't at me for the getting American stuff wrong, all right? Your dress is green. Your is a pronoun. Yeah. Some of the dust off my shoulder because I'm so smart. Can you name the largest ocean? I think it's the Atlantic, isn't it? <laughs> I knew that. I knew that one. I was just joking. <laughs> First three planets of our solar system in order. Okay, it's not Pluto. Wait, wait, in the last part of it or the first part, we are the sun. M um, Mercury, Venus, Earth. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, okay, I got, it. Oh, we got that right. We got that right, we got it right. I'm gonna own it. He mowed the grass today. Mowed is a verb. Mm -hmm. I was like decent at like writing. That's about it. How many layers does Earth have? What are they? Oh, I think the inner core, the outer core, the mantle and the crust, the crust, the inner core and the outer core. <sighs> See? 
When in doubt, guess C. When in doubt, I just guessed. I just guessed, I'm not gonna lie. I guess. What would the next number be in this pattern? Four, seven, 11, 16, 22, 20. Wait, four, that'd be going up three, that'd be going up three, that'd be going up, wait, no, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would be 37. Yes. Yes, love it. I'm so smart. I'm not. I'm good. They got 14 out of 22 so far. We have mean, median, mode, and range. Oh, I remember this. Why do I have PTSD from this? What was this again? Is this math? Which one means the difference between the largest and smallest? Oh no, it's not. Between the largest and smallest. Median. Range. Range. Which of the following is not one of these three stages of volcano cycle? Eruptible doesn't sound correct, okay? Dormant, extinct, and active sound right. That's right, eruptible, no, okay? I'm gonna be eruptible if I don't pass this test, all right? I'm gonna quit everything. Which fraction has more value? Three fourths. I knew that, I know fractions. If A equals seven, oh God, then what is A times nine? What? If A equals seven, why did they put letters with numbers? Why did they do that? Just to with people like me? Well, f you, all right? I don't know, 28, 63. There are three ducks, four cows, oh God, and two cats. How many legs are there? There's three ducks, so that's six. There's four cows, 16 plus six, 22, and two cats, 30, 30. Which section of the orchestra would you find the trumpet? The trumpet. Brass? Brass! I didn't know that. That was a good guess. Which of the following words has a long vowel? Lick, kick, voiced, error. I think voiced because it's got two. I'm gonna kill myself. How is that a long vowel? What? In Ronald Dahl's book, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which character was the first to lose? Oh, um, wasn't it Augustus Gloop? Yeah, I watched the cinemas, so I know that one. Which triangle has three even sides? Isosceles, that's equilateral. Equilateral, equal, equilateral. Sounds right, it is right. There we go, deduction. Yosemite National Park is the national park that is in which state? Oh. Is it Wyoming or Colorado? Or is it California? It's not Alabama. Colorado? Wyoming. Colorado? Wyoming. Colorado? Colorado. I'm a special kind of idiot. <laughs> It's the one state I thought it wasn't. <laughs> An animal that lacks a backbone is called what? An exoskeleton, a vertebrae, a slime, probably. An invertebrate, Inverte inver exoskeleton would be on the outside. Invertebrate, invertebrate. All right, we're making, we're cooking with applesauce. Why would you cook with applesauce? I don't know. Name three bones in your upper upper and lower arms. Humerus, radius, and ulna. Fibulish, funny bone, femur, and car femur's a leg. Coccyx is your back. Fibula, raise your, okay, so humerus radius, uh -huh. and you know why I know that? Because I f***ing broke my humerus. Quick story time, okay? I was skateboarding, picture me skateboarding, down a hill, super steep, super steep, okay? I'm flying down that hill, I got a smile on my face, I got my hands out like this, okay? I'm flying, and there's just a itty bitty rock, itty bitty little rock, right? Okay, I hit the rock, I fly, my hands are out like this, this pops out this way, my arm went the opposite way, I broke my humerus, and then my wrist, and I had to wear like a full, full arm cast for like a few months, and everybody made fun of me. So that's why I know that fact, okay? It's fine. It was a good time. I got like laughing gas and stuff. It was good. What is the capital of Alaska? Oh, I don't know, actually. I'll pick the coolest sounding one. Do you know? Hey, <laughs> yeah, cool. You always guess C, kids. If you don't know the answer, it's C sometimes. Who was the inventor of the telegraph? Not Elon Musk, Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla. No, he did something else. Samuel Morris. I didn't know that. Now I know. Niagara Falls is on the border of which two countries? United States and Canada. Knew that one. Who was Theodore Roosevelt, governor of North Carolina, the inventor of the light bulb 20 years? 60, yeah, first automobile sales, 26th president? Yeah. This woman was a lifelong companion of, and instructor of Helen Keller. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, this sounds like a cool name. Martha Washington and Sullivan. All right, what is a fourth of 16? A fourth of 16? Four. Yes, because four times four is 16, correct? I don't know. If you have three quarters, four dimes, three pennies, and three nickels, and I'm f over this question, how much money do you have? Three quarters, 75 cents, four dimes is 40 cents. We're at a dollar fifteen now. Dollar seventeen, I think. Thirty nickels. I'm f wrong. I don't know what this is. Two sixty eight. Oh, I guess. I can't take the credit for that one. This is me and tests. If you guys ever did the Scantron things, I would just get over the test and like like halfway through and I would just guess the rest of the answers. And then I'd usually pass because I knew like the first half. I'm really lazy. How many inches are in a ruler? 12. I know that. What country is Albert Einstein born in? He is German. That's German. I'm also German, so. Which president was in office when the Watergate scandal took place? Oh, wrong. Ah, oh, the Watergate. Is that Nixon? Oh my God. It's so hard being this smart sometimes, you know? I have to like look down upon 
upon the stupid people all the time. I'm the stupid person. I'm lying. Okay. Which mountain featured George Washington, Top Jefferson, and Appalachians, Mount Fuji, Mount Everest, probably not Mount Everest, Mount Rushmore, pretty sure it's Mount Rushmore, and I'm correct. Lake Superior, Lake Ontario, Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, and Lake Erie are all interconnected freshwater lakes. What are they called? They are called the Great Lakes, because half of them are in my country, and that's why I know that. Chocolate is made from cocoa, cacao beans that come from what? Are they on trees? Cacao trees? Or dirt? <laughs> Vines? Trees. Trees? Trees! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Which event occurred when British colonists in America rebelled against the rule of Great Britain? Civil War? No, British. Okay, no, civil would be between their own countries. American Revolution. Uh, American Revolution? Oh my god. Oh my god. The almost the more. <laughs> what is the past tense of think? Thunk. <laughs> Oh, thunk is on there. <laughs> I thunked, listen, I thunked that you went to the store to get me some beer, but I thunk wrong because you did not come back with beer and I'm just blowing it. Wait, what is it? Thought, there we go. In 1790, which state was the last and 13th to ratify the US Constitution? I don't I don't know. Um, I don't know, Virginia? Rhode Island, interesting, okay. I got a B! Close, better than average, keep, but keep studying. Hey, that's okay, I'm okay with that. Half the questions were about America, and I'm Canadian, so I'm like, I'm happy with that. A B, a B is bueno, which means good in Spanish, all right? All right, guys, if you get this video to 100,000 likes, I'm gonna let my editor choose what I'm gonna do, if that's that happens in a video next time. Jay, take it away. You have to eat an entire cake, any kind. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't know what he said, but I'm gonna do that. So yeah, <laughs> if you like the video, please like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe and tell me how you did on the test. If you got most of them right, if you got most of them wrong, if you're as stupid as me, I'm honestly, I only got a B because I guessed on half of those. So I probably would have failed if I didn't guess. So that, that's fine. Anyway, I love you guys very, very much. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.